Hi, uh, Taurus, and welcome to your reading. This is a small intro before we start the actual reading. First and foremost, I want to tell you that um, I want to explain to you why I am late with my readings. I know I don't have to, but I would like to. Okay, uh, my mom um, had two of her uh, siblings passed away within two to three weeks, uh, not too long ago, which is like in these last couple of weeks. And she, she, she really had a hard time um, integrating this and understanding what was taking place and the fact that we can't like really see the family members, okay, or contact them as much as we want to. Uh, it was, it's been very difficult for her. So I've been trying to heal her and be there for her. And my energy was with her and it's very tiring because it's like, it's an un ongoing, especially not one person, but two people that uh, she lost. And uh, so uh, she also wants you to know, all of you, to, she wants to thank everybody here that sends her love, light and prayers. She always tells me to say to all the people on my channel and also you Taurus, is that she is continuously sending prayers in the morning, in the afternoon, and at nighttime with her rosary beads. And she's sending love, light, health, uh, protection, and peace, everything that your heart desires. And uh, so I also want to take the time to say thank you for all the love that you shared uh, or all the thoughts and positive thoughts and emails and letters that are coming in towards my mother. Thank you so much. Uh, for those of you that, you know, uh, especially for those of you that have been with me from the be very beginning of time, those of you that came halfway through recently here or new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I'm active in my community now for 25 years and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool on YouTube to deliver you the messages. Um, uh, as well, uh, underneath the video, you will see a link with my name on it and you get 10% off of crystals. So anytime that you need crystals, use that link. Uh, that link will give you 10% off of crystals. And for those of you that are on Patreon and waiting for me, please be a bit more patient. I will be there with you shortly. We will do, I will do videos for you. I will talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I know I have a lot of messages waiting for me. And for those of you uh, that are wanting to join uh, Patreon, there will be a link underneath the video as well. For those of you that want to follow me on Facebook for inspirational notes or anything inspirational, follow me under Facebook at Patricia Luna. For those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patricia underscore 1111. I come there on randomly and start giving free mini readings. <clears throat> also, in the readings, if I notice that you need a healing or a healer, I am a healer, but at this time I cannot give personal readings and I cannot do healing sessions because of what's taking place with my mom, okay? So, I have two of the best healers that um, I use their services already. I trust them. I known them. I known them for a very long time, and they also help me with their healing. Uh, so, <clears throat> if you contact me on my email, I will be able to share with you the contacts, and you could reach uh, reach out to them. I also have a shaman who is a dowser that she clears energies from past lives, energies of people attacking you, energies of even someone <clears throat> maybe that you are not with them anymore, but they're still in your present, they're still in your energy, and you're having a hard time removing that, she's able to do that. So you could contact me, and I will give you the information. There's many ways in how to support my channel, Taurus. There's by subscribing to me, okay, liking my channel, and also hitting the notification bell, and pressing all. By pressing all, anytime that I upload videos, you will get notified. By watching my videos fully also will help me to stay strong on YouTube by sharing and commenting as well, because I also love your comments very well. So now, again, thank you all. Thank you for everything. And let's get started with your reading. Hi, Taurus, and welcome to your reading. This is from May 11th to May 23rd, 2020. Okay, so I'm going to start off the reading with the singing bowl, of course. And then after that... I will go into your affirmation and your angel cards. Then after that, I have channel messages to give you from spirit. And I'm going to get into your reading. I'm going to show you where you are right now, <clears throat> where you are right now, what, uh, what you need to focus on, okay? Your recent past, what's coming towards you and what spirit wants you to know and your possible future. And then at the end, I will give you an animal spirit card. I will give you a crystal that you need for the week the 23rd and what the quantum energy wants you to know so let's get started 
Here we have the singing bowl. And <clears throat> the reason I use this is to clear my energy and space. I will do the same thing for you. But I will also send love and light to the collective and of course you. Love, protection, and peace. Perfect. <clears throat> I'll take my spray. I moved Archangel Michael here and I put Archangel Raphael right here so that he could send healing energy to all of you as well and protection from Archangel Michael as well and some for me. Here we go. Now let's start with your affirmation, Taurus. The affirmation card you got is love. It says here, um, wait, let me open the light because <laughs> I could see. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Love. Now, your angels are saying, be willing to forgive. Be willing to forgive, Taurus. It says, ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So be willing to forgive. <clears throat> Archangel Raphael, it says, heart's desires. It says here, the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So, heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding you, and protecting you as you, as your dreams become a reality. And last but not least, you got sacred sexuality. And this is, this connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy. So this connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy. Very nice to see that. Now let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this is the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if the reading does not resonate at all to you, then look at your rising, your moon, which is your emotions. Venus is about love. And Mercury is about communication. And I'm sure that you will find something in there as well. And uh, <clears throat> so the messages I'm getting here uh, for a lot of you, that there is a decision that has to be taking place. Like you're going to be at crossroads or a stalemate. But there is some type of decision that you will have to make. And it's, it shows me that in the winter, a lot of you were going through a rebirth. And in the summertime, you're going to go through this beautiful growth. Okay. There's going to be a lot of like sparkle within, like something is going to spark within you. Okay. And a lot of celebration and gifts are taking place. But at the time now, I feel like now there's like some type of timeout or you're giving yourself timeout. Maybe some type of distance is taking place, which yes, we're all going through this. But for you, maybe it's someone from far away. That you haven't seen in a long time and i feel that some of you are resisting a change there's some type of resisting a change or some type of resistance taking place or you're guarded you're guarded you're overthinking about a situation and um you're having a lot of doubts and you're very vulnerable at this time so you need to shield yourself and there is some type of beliefs that are going to be removed from you something is being removed from you or you're seeing the truth in a situation okay so now let's uh, I think I cut the cards enough, shuffled, I mean, and let's get started with your reading, Taurus. Okay, let's start from May 11th to May 23rd, 2020, Taurus. the way the card came out. Mm. Okay.
Overall energy, you've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be. This could be your energy or someone else around you. This is someone that is emotionally available. Their heart, oh sorry, their heart and their mind are combined in one. Their emotions are good. They're clear. They're very kind people, very compassionate people. There's someone offering something here towards you. Where you are right now, you are in the Three of Wands energy. That's beautiful. You are having uh, hope. Your hopes are being restored. Your faith is being restored. And you're looking into the future like like with optimism. Optimism. You know something nice is coming for you. You know your dreams are coming towards you. You feel it to the core. The Three of Wands talks about ships coming in. This is going to be long-term goals or long-term plans. Okay? What is crossing you is the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, my beautiful uh, Taurus. Okay? This talks about someone that's very successful. Someone that is material satisf materially satisfied here, very confident, very grounded energy. If it's not you, it's a job that's coming towards you, someone offering you a job, or someone that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I believe that this is you that's here. Now, what they want you to focus on is the Six of Cups energy. So you're feeling nostalgic about the past, about memories of the past. Maybe this has to do with a soulmate for some of you or something from the past. What is, uh, what is uh, there for you uh, in the recent past till now? You have the two of swords. Crossroads. This is what I was talking about, what Spirit was saying. Was that or you're looking too much in the past or you're looking too much in the future and you're not in the present moment to make whatever decision that you have to make, whatever it is that you have to do. Being a crossroad, choosing that path. What is above you is the world card. Congratulations coming full circle all the lessons everything that you had to go through whether it was 10 years 20 years some people are even 50 60 years whatever it is it's coming full circle there's an ending of a cycle and there's a pause before you go to the next step okay the next positive step and um yeah so uh, and then there's light travel that is also indicated here what come, what's coming towards you is the Knight of Swords energy. So you're going to be getting a very unexpected message coming in. Very truthful messages. This could be from a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but it's going to be a very quick message coming in for you. If it's not you giving, if it's not someone coming towards you to give you a message, that means maybe you are the one Taurus that's going to someone to, to tell them something. Now, in the seventh position, you've got the... Temperance card. You are earth angels. Okay. And I also feel that there's an energy of someone here. For those of you, there's someone, an energy that someone that really adores you and appreciates you on a deeper, on a very deep level. This talks about also moderating your life, not just your life, but your body, your mind, your spirit. And some of you are trying to communicate with, um, you're trying to communicate with your higher self or with your guides, okay, and asking for divine intervention. For some of you, you will need patience as well because it does say patience is needed. What Spirit wants you to know is that you've got the Page of Pentacles. So there is some type of beginning here. Uh, it's a beginning of some type of stability that's coming in for you. In the eight, and then hopes and fears, you've got the Ten of Swords reversed, which is a good card. You released all the perceptions of negative thinking, whatever it is with the world card. Okay, this is going to be removed from you. The last card you got is the Five of Cups energy. Well, the Five of Cups talks about where you are releasing. You're releasing a lot of emotions at this time. A lot, okay? Resentment, hurt, guilt, forgiveness. Whatever it is, because there is something that you need to forgive. Maybe yourself or other people, but there's some type of forgiveness here. This is about uh, learning. Not learning, but it's about the silver lining, Okay, like knowing that everything happens for a reason and you're at your you're at your last cup. Okay, the four cups are up here. So you are doing a great job in releasing. Now let's start clarifying the cards. Let's look at the three of wands and why it's here for you. Why is the three of wands here? You got the Six of Wands. Very nice. So you got the Three of Wands, the Six of Wands. And you got the Chariot. Very nice. Very nice. 
And you got the Queen of Wands energy. <clears throat> A lot of passion here. Three of Wands energy. With the Six of Wands, this talks about being on top of the world, being successful. There's a success here. Whether business or love, whatever the situation here, it's good because the six and the three is a nine. So there is a completion, like I said, right? You're going to take control of your life or can take control of the situation and you're going to move forward, Taurus. Okay, you're going to take control of the situation and move forward. This talks about a cycle of difficulties that are ending and new beginnings are taking place for you where it's positive energy. You know that the road in front of you won't be like flat. It might be bumpy, but you're able to take it because you have power, willpower, and uh, ambition, and it's positive. Maybe some of you are buying a vehicle or something is taking place in June 2020 for you. And this could also talk about where you're probably dealing with a cancer or a Sagittarius, but I see you as this Queen of Wands energy. Or you're moving towards the Queen of Wands energy, or this is you. The Queen of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. A strong feminine energy. You're very optimistic, very outgoing. Spark within, like something sparked within you. Very ambitious here, okay? Energy, very truthful. Very nice energy. Now let's look at the Queen of Pentacles here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I do. I am feeling also that there is something unexpected. So I feel, even though I'm not, I don't have the Tower card yet. Divine is coming in to change your course for the better. You got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Look at this. This is strong. This could be both of you, one person if you're single, or this could be someone coming in to help you financially, or this is you, or this is like a couple. A couple. I mean, like two people coming in together. Okay. So I've got the king and queen of pentacles. Again, very grounded, very material satisfaction, success. This talks about worldly success as well. Very nice to see this. Okay. Why is the queen of one? Uh, the queen of pentacles. The king of pentacles here. You got. Oh my God! The ace of pentacles. And Scorpio, the death card. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at all the green here. Look at all the green. A lot of healing here. Okay? There is a gift. Something is coming towards you. A gift does not have to just be money. Whatever that the divine wants to give you, it's coming in. And it's going to be very strong here. And with the death card, it's a death and rebirth taking place. Like completely. An ending of a something that you had gone through for a very long time. Ending of negative situations and people and profound changes are going to be taking place here. Profound, profound, profound changes. And yeah, it's called the rebirth. Okay. So you're going to be going through profound changes or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Now let's look at the six of cups of what they want you to focus on. You've got the five of swords energy. So you've got the six of cups, the five of swords, the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Now, I feel that you're looking into the past. Okay. You're looking into the past with the Three of Cups energy here. And I feel this very strongly is what Spirit is telling me. With the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups upright and the Three of Cups. Okay. You're, this is about the past. The past was where people were taking advantage of you. Maybe there were people bullying you. Maybe people cheated you of stuff, okay? The, the, the Five of Swords energy is not always a good energy. And this has to do with people that you were closest with, friend, family members, maybe your friends, whatever it was, your community. There's something that took place here where uh, it brought you to the Five of Cups energy, okay? Looking in the past and looking at all the things you went through. Whatever the situation is here, you got the two of cups and something is changing. What I feel very strong is something is changing. This is a start of a new relationship or a relationship that's forming here. This does not have to be with a friend or a lover or a boyfriend or girlfriend. It could be with anybody. Okay. But for most likely, it could be a relationship that's starting for you. Now, I'm going to take a look at this five of swords energy and the six of cups with the three of cups reversed. Yeah, whatever it was in the past, whatever, if this had to do with work or love, whatever it is, you'll know, okay? With the, what they showed me with the Six of Pentacles reversed is that something was not balanced. I feel like you were giving away your energy, your power, Taurus, to other people, and people took advantage of you. 
But now that's changing because there's good people coming towards you. Now let's look at the Two of Swords in the past till now. Recent past, okay? So let's look at the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Oops, hold on. Why is the Two of Swords here? you got the Magician. So you've been manifesting. Two of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Swords energy. And the Emperor. Aries energy I have here. So with the Two of Swords, the recent past till now, maybe you made, you crawl, you, you already chose your, your path. For those of you that haven't and you're still in this type of energy. I feel that you're dealing with someone that is like a Queen of Swords or this is your energy. Maybe in the past, you know, there's been anger. You were not thinking with your heart, but with your head. Or you're dealing with someone that is in their head. And they're not using that heart chakra of theirs, okay? Someone that's closed off a bit. Someone that could also be blunt and mean as well. Maybe this is because you were feeling in this type of energy or you're dealing with this type of energy, okay? Now, whatever it is with the magician and the emperor, okay? You've been trying to manifest whether this has to do with business or with love or whatever it is, okay? Or money, career, you have all the elements here to manifest whatever you want with the magician. And the emperor talks about, could be a father figure for some of you, or it could be you, commitment, stability, having everything under control, okay? And uh, there's a sense of you having everything under control and setting up new rules and boundaries. And this is working out for you very well. Now, let's look at the world card above you. Why is the world card here for Taurus? You got the three of swords. This follows you everywhere. I feel a lot of times, Taurus, and it's very important, like I tell my mother the same way, because, you know, um, I'm, you know, I'm, she's trying her best to heal this part of herself, but it's hard. So that's why I help her to heal. Uh, and it takes time because it depends how, you, you know, uh, I could heal you uh, or someone could heal you. But it all depends what work, because there's also work on your end. Okay, that has to be done here. And uh, sometimes you need help. With the Three of Swords energy, it's because there's something that's ending. And of course, it's going to bring sadness. Of course, you're going to feel bad. You're going to feel all those things. But there is a completion. Uh, so if you do need a healer, please let me know, okay? Like I said, I will share my information with you. So with the Three of Swords and the World card, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. You're going to feel all joy and happiness, but you're still going to feel bad with this, with this Three of Swords energy. But the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles talks about where unexpected money, a large sum of money, some type of an inheritance money is coming in for you. Or this could be a business, two people coming together, bringing business. But this heart chakra, again, I know I'm, I'm emphasizing on it. It's times of being happy, but you're still feeling sad about the past. It's, and it's coming into now moment. Because why? Because some type of missed opportunity. Something got dropped or you got dropped or some type of missed opportunity that took place. Okay, now let's look at the Knight of Swords energy. What's coming towards you. You got the Hermit card. Oop. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo energy. If not... This talks about you going within. After you get this message, you're going to go within. You're going to be not more on the outward. You're going to go more within. You're going to take time out from people and situations. And you're going to follow your own path. Okay, it's about being still and reflecting. you got the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords energy. There's some type of jealousy or someone jealous around you. Or someone's jealous around you. It could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. But there is some type of jealousy around you. Just envious, you know, uh, with the Page of Swords energy. And, um, you know, uh, they're maybe watching your social media. And that's not it. They're just watching you from afar. But nothing dangerous. Don't get me wrong. It's just that type of energy. Or this, it could also be someone that is talking to you right now. Okay. Uh, they're, they, they have their eye on you. They have their eye on you. And there's a lot of, like, uh, conversation maybe. Maybe a conversation taking place. But whatever the case is, whatever this message is, uh, someone has their guards up. If it's you, I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or them. 
but there's some type of guard up but someone's gonna go within they're gonna you're gonna have to go within to follow your own path on this let's see i'm gonna take another card for this okay the page of swords the nine of wands the hermit card and the knight of swords energy You've got the king of wands energy followed by the two of swords uh, two of, okay so whatever the situation is this king of wands this king of wands can be like this king of cups energy here okay this is a strong uh, very strong uh, masculine energy here very passionate they usually go at, uh, they have they go after what they want you know they and they're they're fast there is some, some there's some type of energy that's coming there's someone coming in sharing the same vision as you and you're going to start making short-term plans now temperance why is the temperance card here in the seventh position why is the temperance card here oh boy see i knew it you got the tower card so whatever that you've been wishing upon divine intervention for god to help you for your spirit guides to help you it's coming in the divine is coming in this is a unexpected changes are going to take place profound changes are going to take place this is divine coming in clearing everything for you and setting you on the right path and it's very good so it's a very good card don't be feeling negative about it okay so temperance with the tower why is temperance here with the tower you got the moon reversed which i'm very happy and the four of wands this is nice this is the my neptune card when it's reversed it talks to me about where you are releasing the fears so you're releasing fears and this is really good and you're going to get a lot of unusual dreams around this time okay so make sure you jot everything down with the four wands there is some type of stability in the home or happiness in the home you are protecting your fortress is what i'm feeling here okay now let's look at the page of pentacles and what you need to know you got the six of swords energy very nice you got the star which is even better <laughs> So you got the page, you got the Six of Swords and the Star card, and what else? And the Knight of Wands. Where that's coming in as the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands energy, they ha there is a bit of stability, but they're very restless. Whoever, if this is a situation or if this has to do with uh, some type of proposition for work, whatever it is, there's an energy that's here. It's there's a little promise here but whatever circumstances whatever this thing is whatever it is for you you are going to be going through a transition from a troubled times to calmer waters some you're going to be relocating and moving and with the star card okay you're returning to good health taurus and there's a healing and a blessing that's taking place for you maybe you're dealing with an aquarius but this is because of the age of the aquarius that this is happening so it's very beautiful now let's look at the ten of swords reversed in the hopes and fears why is the ten of swords reversed you got the wheel of fortune very nice you got the wheel of fortune and i think the aries with aries also got it there at the same place that you got it if you have aries in your chart or you're dealing with an aries okay what I'm getting here is that after everything you went through, you released a lot here. You're getting second chances in life. This talks about the wheel turning in your favor. This talks about luck, destiny, and profound changes taking place. There's a lot of energy around you of people fighting or gossip, or this could be you are fighting within yourself, or this is energy around you. You're going to follow your own path. Whatever it is, you're following your own path. With the elephant the elephant can mean many things it could be an organization coming towards you maybe you're dealing with someone that is very different than you very very different than you this could also be some type of marriage for others of you could be but this also talks about that you are following your own path to connect with the divine to connect with your spirit guides you're not following anything there's a light at the end of the tunnel here for you okay now let's look at the five of cups energy What's the Five of Cups energy about? You got the Eight of Swords reversed. Very good. You got the Sun card. Even better. The Sun card is the best card in 
the tarot deck. So you've got the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Sun card. And you got the Ace of Cups. It's nice to see this, finally. So you will be releasing. There's not much left, okay, to clear that heart chakra of yours. And you're not going to feel stuck anymore. You're not going to feel stuck in your thoughts, negative thoughts, or whatever situation. You've got the Sun card. This talks about success. All the happy vibes that you could feel. You have it with this card. The universe is agreeing on your path. And it's going to push you forward to things that are very unexpected. Some of you could be also a soulmate. But it's going to be beautiful. With the Ace of Cups energy, you returning to unconditional love. Your heart opening and expanding and expanding. That healing is coming through for you. And this talks also about uh, being at peace. And also a sacred union. A divine union. A relationship. Something is here for you. Now let's look at the King of Cups energy. What is this King of Cups about? You've got the Four of Pentacles. You're protected, Taurus, with the Four of Pentacles. you got the Page of Wands, which is in Divine Timing. Why is the Page of Wands here with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups? And the Fool card. Where this King of Cups is for you. It's in Divine Timing. And the page of wands talks about an, an, uh, a beginning of some type of passion that's starting. Passion and emotions here. With the four pentacles, four pentacles is that there's a protection around you. But it also talks about where fours are stable. And also talks about where or you're clinging on to something or you're giving too much of your power away. Either or, you'll know. There will be a new beginning because you are divinely guided. Are you going to take that new beginning? I would, because <laughs> these are beautiful. Yes, there's a process, but it's very positive, right? And underneath the deck, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, where you're reevaluating everything at this time. Your life completely, your, even maybe your investments, how far you come, this is what you're doing. So it's beautiful to see. Now, let's look at your Animal Spirit Guide. Your Animal Spirit Guide is the Fox. Smart, strong partner or mate or wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystic to go around. Fox personalities are skillful, skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. When in balance, it's magical. When it's out of balance, it's sneaky. And to bring into balance, partnership or connection. So Fox Energy is with you from May 11th to the 23rd. Now, let's look at your crystal. Your crystal you got is Lapis Lazuli, past life. And it's the third eye, third eye and the crown chakra. But I also see this as the throat chakra also, the lapis lazuli. Okay, um, you could use, or you could wear a lot of blue, or you know, if it has to do with speech. So the crystal meaning is powerful spiritual in initiation stone, awakening spiritual wisdom and knowledge, opens you to clairvoyance, supports past life awareness and healing of any karmic patterns, enhances psychic gifts and awareness, and severes karmic ties. Lapis Lazuli has arrived in your life today to share that you are currently undergoing healing connected to your past life experiences. Your current situation is reflecting thoughts, feelings, and memories that stem from a past life. Our soul has experienced several, several lives here on earth and can bring issues that have not yet been previ previously dealt with back into the, into the current life. This is known as karma, and it will affect your current life until you clear and heal the pattern. There are times when the depths of your experiences, emotions, and responses go beyond this lifetime, and you can feel as if you are living them all over again. If your current situation is one of soul connection, friendship, pain, fear, phobias, unexplained injury, or mix and misunderstood emotions and feelings, know this stems from a past life experience. 
This is a perfect time to heal and clear these old wounds and experiences from your field. If you feel entangled or stuck in a karmic relationship or situation, be comforted by the fact that the divas have a right to assist you in bringing insight, awareness, and healing. This card can also suggest that you are connecting to and bringing through past life gifts and wisdom. Make sure to honor and nurture this new knowledge because it will bring about massive healing, enriching your world by bringing welcome, positive change, and new inspiration. Allow this wisdom of the past to flow through into your current life and let it be your guide. So you could use this uh, crystal if you have it, okay? Uh, or you could use a card, or you could use the link to get it, okay? So Lapis Lapzuli is with you. And let's look at the quantum energy and what it wants to tell you. So you got a cycle. You're going through a cycle now, and it's called Decrease. Cycle of Reducing Energy. Crystal clear water drips through a woman's cupped hands, value slipping away. Upright, this card can reveal a period of real or emotional restriction. This may be a loss of, of money or a need for greater expenditure okay, than previously, previously expected. There could be some personal reduction as well, such as a child going off to college or getting married and moving away. In the most Extreme state, decrease upright can be a severing of a relationship or the loss of a job. Don't panic. The, exter the externals may be changing, but you still hold the power of your responses. Let yourself go inward and regroup. This is a time to let go, choose trust, and regain your strength. All systems, including nature and economy, have a, have a time of reduction, a necessary period to gather strength for the time of transformation and expansion to come. This is true for you too. Move through this time with conscious awareness. Your inner and outer action now will create an energetic shift, one that will carry you through the joyous expansion yet to come. And your affirmation is, I am strong and self-directed and I move through my any cycle with balanced trust and present peace. So again, I am strong and self-directed. I move through any cycle with balance, trust, and present peace. So, Taurus, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back. Know that I love you. And I'll see you in the uh, after the 23rd. Bye. Take care.